Hey everyone, James Reeves with TFB TV. Thanks for tuning in for another episode of TFB TV GunFest 2021. We're bringing you new guns from your favorite manufacturers for a new year. Right now, believe it or not, I'm in the belly of the beast. I'm here at Smith & Wesson <laughs> with my good friend Anthony Proto. You guys remember Anthony, of course, from prior GemTech videos. Mm -hmm. GemTech, now affiliated with Smith & Wesson. Believe it or not, there are people yeah. that, that don't actually know that out there. <laughs> yeah, so Gemtex was purchased by Smith & Wesson in 2017. So it's been a few years, but mm -hmm. relatively new. Yeah, and, and <laughs> fortunately, I mean, I like that they're, you know, they're keeping all the same branding. You yeah. guys look like, you know, you're Gemtech. You're not like Smith & Wesson. No, yeah, I, I like so it too. Cool. I like it too. We yeah, have, you know, we I have our own. It stays that way. Yeah, we have our own, own identity, own marketing and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah, but we've got something really neat. And I, I got to say, to preface this, I am so upset that you know there again you come to a factory like this and it, thank you for having me i mean i really yeah. do appreciate it. this is something like i've always wanted to do to mm -hmm. come here but of course recording video can be kind of sensitive so you know we got to go shoot this at the uh the range what do you guys call it like the lab like lab uh, it's, research? Just, it's the engineer it's the engineering range yeah the engineering We're range. The so, you know, of course couldn't have uh, understandably because there was some stuff we could not record and that's fine but i did get to shoot this and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to let you lean into it. What All right, about Anthony. So this is the Integra 1522. It's an integrally suppressed upper receiver for your M&P 1522. Uh, when you get it, it's going to be the fully assembled upper, M-lock handguard, bull carrier group, charging handle, and you're just going to pop it onto your receiver and you'll be good to go. So what makes this, what makes this awesome is that uh, James shot it. You really got to shoot it to get the full experience, right? It's wild. I mean, I know. it's just like any rimfire when you have this much can on it. It's, yeah. it's just going to be as quiet as possible. Yeah. It's, it's unreal. Yeah, no, it, it's, it's sweet. You guys are going to love it. I mean, it's, it's my favorite thing to plank with at the range now. Um, in terms How of... How could it not be? Yeah, you know, I mean, yeah. seriously, just throw like a... Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. It's like, yeah, I mean, it was like thumb snaps. And then funny thing, yeah. you know, of course, they got like these steel plates back there in the range. And mm -hmm. it's like, you would hear the gun like... And then you would hear this thwack like yeah. against the steel. It was like that loud. Nine inch barrel. Um, so believe it or not, a lot of your bulk stuff, will, about 50 50 will be subsonic. But anything, you know, standard velocity, ooh, that's freaking loud, yeah, right? Let's get some WD 40 on Yeah, I get some. Photo. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Do a freaking trap bird in here. So, yeah. <laughs> so what we got here is a about seven and a half inch stainless steel G core attached to our nine inch barrel. It's going to give you an overall length of 17 and a half inches, so just like a bit longer than the stock rifle. But because it's pinned and welded, this is only a one tag stamp setup. You're not going to have to SBR your 1522. You're not going to have to spend the extra money. But um, so just to be clear, yes. for, if that went over anyone's head, I don't. If I put this on my standard M&P uh, 1522 lower, yeah, I don't. Need, I can leave the stock on it. I don't need to put Correct. a brace on it or whatever. Correct. Or pay uh, for a tag stamp. We're good because we meet the overall length requirement. We're Absolutely. only paying for the tax on the suppressor. Correct. Yeah. So this would just be this is just going to be uh, regulated like like it was a suppressor. And the best part is is we're because Smith and Wesson, you know, and we are here in Smith and Wesson and make Gemtech as well. We're able to offer this for a really crazy yeah, value. Yeah. Yeah. I was actually kind of blown away. Yeah. MSRP is only six sixteen. And, and that's a complete upper. I mean, of course, less the sights. Yep. As we talked about, mm -hmm. like you know. Um, People are probably already going to have sites, you know, or like yeah. they're going to put a red dot on it. So save a few bucks sure. and then uh, offer it without sites, but otherwise complete, complete. Yeah, complete, complete. And just and like you said, everybody has their preference in terms of sites. So we wanted to give, you know, rather save you guys some money and, you know, make the choice for yourself. Here comes the softball because we talked about this when we were down on the range. Mm -hmm. What pisses me off about 22 suppressors? Dirty, like filthy uh, Atlanta strip club dirty. Wow. Yeah, that, that. You know what I'm talking about, though. I mean, it's like, you know, you'll, yeah. you'll like, shoot a suppressor, rimfire suppressor, um, get all that lead in it, and it mm -hmm. weighs, like, three times as much, like, whenever you put it on a month earlier, you know, or whatever. Yeah. So it's like, talk to me about that, because this actually impressed me. So cleaning process is super simple. I mean, this is, this is it. You have your outer tube, and you have your core. So you're literally just going to unthread your tube and just hit this with an M16 uh, cleaning brush and some CLP. But the really cool part is that stain the stainless steel is hard enough that a lot of fouling that maybe would stick to an, maybe an aluminum baffle doesn't really stick as much to the stainless steel baffle. So if you're shooting a lot of subs, what you can do is throw something really hot through there, like a uh, browning you know, performance rim fire or like some stingers. It'll actually loosen up a lot of the crap on the baffles. So you literally just unscrew this, give it like a few taps, and a lot of the fouling will just come out. And then for the tube, yeah, just come in there with like a, sh with a, with a shotgun, nylon bore brush, and some CLP, you know, 
run it through and then swab it out. And that's, that's really it. The goal was just to make it, you know, no special tools, extremely, you know, extremely easy to clean. I mean, the core is really, really accessible. Yeah, so in terms of sound, just to give you guys an idea, the bolt, this right here, is the loudest part when shooting subsonic ammunition. That's, that, that's it. It sounds like the suppressor you always, you know, when you think of a suppressor. It, it, Even indoors, when you're shooting an indoors. Seriously, we, we were shooting yeah. in, a, the test range is a, is a, is a concrete box. And it was you still, could, yeah, wow. Any yeah. point of impact shift if I do that? Like if I perform maintenance on this and I put this back on? Probably not. No, no, because the baffles are in the same orientation right. always because they're part of the barrel. Um, you're not gonna have to deal with that. What are we talking in terms of durability? Like, what are my wear components? The baffles, like the baffle stack? But I yeah. mean, they're, they're steel, right? Correct. And you're shooting 22. Yeah. I mean, infinity? Pretty, pretty, but I mean, pretty much infinity. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's I mean, 40. That, that would be a lot of 22 before you ruin that. I would I, uh, you probably have to replace the upper. Yeah, you, yeah honestly, like yeah. We, we've, done life, we've done life, life cycle tests with a couple of these with in excess of 15 to 20,000 rounds. and they pretty much sound the same as if they were new. So it's, it's the right material for this application. Maybe a dumb question because sure. this isn't like geared towards accuracy. Have you guys mm -hmm. done any accuracy testing? Yeah, you know? same, same accuracy, same groupings as, okay. as your standard 1522. Okay. Same performance. Excellent. Just a little bit less velocity. Last question, mm -hmm. the most important thing. When can I get it? How do I get it? Because I'm not going to be able to just, most gun stores just go and pick this up. So when sure. can I get it? How? So this is shipping now. Um, we have units in the market at various distributors, so pretty much if anybody stocks Smith & Wesson and you know, buys through a distributor that stocks Smith & Wesson, they'll also be able to buy Gemtech pending they have an SOT. And I know your buddies over at Silencer Shop also have it go. as well. There's the plug. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sponsoring us. <laughs> it sounds for Gunfest content, Silencer Shop. And I lied to you because, first of all, that was two questions, and I said last question, and here's yeah. a third one because we talked about this. Can I drop this on just a regular AR-15 lower? You can't. It has to go. I know there's a lot of you know groans, especially coming yeah. from this guy, but there's there's hundreds of thousands of 1522s out there on the market, and it just it pins right on. It doesn't fit a standard mil spec uh, AR-15 lower, but I'm sure a lot of you guys have this already. Anthony, hey. it's a pleasure as usual to have you on TFB TV. Thanks for inviting me up here for Gunfest. Guys. Absolutely. So, seriously, I mean, I, I, we joke around a lot and everything, but this was something I've always wanted to do ever since I was. Just a, a wee boy. We so, glad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks again, guys. Stay tuned for more Gunfest 2021.